day. Do you sometimes feel like you want to have a party or just spend some nice time with your loved ones? Gladly, someone long time ago came up with celebrations like birthdays or weddings, so everyone can feel happy for multiple reasons and forget about it. Yeah, I'm serious, now we have rules and they say that only hosts can smile and laugh. Or at least something close to this is a new trend of celebrating weddings. Hi everyone, we're gonna be doing controversial things I'm doing at my wedding since apparently all the TikTok is already upset that I'm requiring all my guests to wear black. I'm not against dress codes if it's not something strict. Cause if it was neon yellow clothing, I wouldn't like to spend my money to look like a clown. I'm not against people who like neon yellow, just don't like wearing clothes that looks like I've been in an accident. Females must have their hair up, I'm gonna have my hair down, I'm trying to stand out, no copying me. Okay. Okay, this time I feel more concerned. I understand that the bride wants to be the center of attention and I'm okay with that, that's her day. But that's just a bit strange. Next, guests must submit their outfit at the time of RSVP. This is because I'm looking out for my guests. I'm making sure that they're following the dress code and no one's copying each other's outfits. You're welcome. Girl, don't even try to pretend like you'll do it to somehow help your guests. I understand that this day is important, but you can't plan every breath of your guests if anyone will even turn up. Sorry, I'm not trying to be rude, I just feel like she's being rude to her future guests. Imagine you showed up to her wedding with all dress code stuff. And remember, it's not the end of the requirements, but something is off. What is the bride going to do? Send you home to change or give you a black sack to put on yourself? Next, no pearl jewelry. I'm wearing pearl jewelry, come on guys. Next, no heels if they're taller than me. So if a girl's taller than me, I'm sorry. Vlats, sorry. Next, no red lipstick, that explains itself. Next, no strapless dresses. Again, we are not copying me. It's my day. Thank you. Next, all accessories must be yellow gold. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. Wow, I've never seen such a strict and weird dress code for wedding in my life. To be honest, I was waiting for her to say at some point, no brown eyes because I'll be wearing them. Wear lenses or leave them at home. I don't know. And I'm scared to think about girls who could be higher than her without heels. Let's check your outfit. Everything black, no red lips, and what is your height once again? 5'11"? I'm sorry, you can't come, you're taller than me. But I'm your mom, I'd like to attend my daughter's wedding. Have you seen the Saw movie? Try this. I understand the urge to be the most beautiful bride, but I believe there are other methods of doing it without telling all guests to look like one person. You know, like in some indie games, all NPCs have the same face. That's the vibe I'm getting from this wedding. If we still can call it a wedding, because the dress code gets closer to monastery party. Oh wait, nuns wear black and white. Not like I thought nun is a perfect guest for a wedding, but so you know, they're a band too. Since making wedding rules is a trend now, people decided to not limit themselves just by the dress code. Rules and regulations. 1. Please arrive 15 to 30 minutes early. 2. Please do not wear white, cream or ivory. 3. Please do not wear anything other than a basic bob or ponytail. 4. Please do not fave a full face of makeup. 5. Do not record during ceremony. 6. Do not check Facebook until instructed. 7. Use this hashtag post in all pictures. 8. Do not talk to the bride at all. 9. Leave the wedding. Don't tell me that it doesn't fit the rules perfectly. And the last and my favorite rule number 10. Last time must come with a gift $75 or more or you won't be admitted in. I like to watch how this list gets progressively worse. How did we get from arriving early to facing the ground, don't touch the bride, give all your money. Are they even sure they want to have a celebration? Person who hires a wedding planner who spells the word ceremony like this. Oh, I guess guests just haven't paid for him yet. But don't get sad, I'm pretty sure all guests received a bill for an email afterwards. And can you go back to a do not talk to the bride rule? Just what? Why do you need guests then? For photos on Facebook? And if they're not looking anything alike to this, I don't think it's worth making a wedding at all. Sorry for breaking those photos without disclaimer, I just needed you to see it. That's what a photographer needs to do instead of filming your guests. And a little more information about these majestic photos. I had to censor this picture even though it was already censored, because, you know... They are not mimicking. But let's come back to the rules. It seems like the only way the brides will feel happy is if all women will come in their pages. You know that one special t-shirt that you didn't wash in weeks with crumbles and stains? Even better if your hair and face look like this pages too. Everything for the bride to feel pretty. I have so many questions. But it's their day, and if no one will show up, I guess that's what they wanted. Except for having less people to pay them $75. Well, you can always try to get more creative. We're going to ask our guests to pay for their seat, which is looking like 150 plus dollars per hat. The reason why we are going to do this is... Let me guess, because we're greedy and don't want to spend our money. 1. We aren't rich. Mm. 2. We prefer to spend money on improving our house as well as paying our house off. Well, basically I was right. I mean, if you have so many things to do, maybe you will celebrate your wedding later or just have some nice time together at home. 
well, forget about it. Three, we have all we need and do not require any gifts. Well, thank you for that. Four, all we care about is the food is high quality and that we have a beautiful wedding. Five, spending more than $10,000 we cannot justify on one day. Can't justify spending $10,000 on one day? Then why did you plan a wedding for $10,000? I can give you a thousand ideas how to spend the minimum amount of money for your wedding day. Like, don't invite guests. Or don't eat. Or make your guests believe that robbing a bank is a wedding game. Yeah, that's why I'm not going to marry anyone in years. I hope our guests can understand and respect our reasons for doing our wedding like this. Plus, we know so many people and want our friends and family to be there and enjoy this one-in-a-lifetime event with us. Plus, both of us, mainly me being the bride, absolutely deserve the wedding of our dreams. Well, I deserve a million dollars, so... I'm waiting, so maybe you'd like to subscribe to my channel and like this video? That would be for free, so don't miss this opportunity. Actually, I think if all guests are paying for the wedding, they should make rules. Like, for example, all guests should wear white dresses except for the bride. I think they'd like to enjoy a lifetime experience of looking better than her. Don't think that I'm crazy, but it sounds like a fun idea. At least I can guarantee that it could be more fun than the previous weddings. Maybe these wedding rules will finally get better? Everyone helps out. We didn't hire any staff, so that means everyone needs to do their part. My grandpa set up chairs even with his bed back, my cousin bartender, and it turned out beautifully. Wow, that's brilliant, forget about my ideas of saving up money. I can't believe I haven't come up with something as genius as inviting people you don't really like to play the role of free staff. Sorry grandpa, next time you can wash the dishes. Respect the seat assignments. Unless you're getting a drink, food or going to the bathroom, there is no need to be out of your seats. Some guests want to just stay with their group and not socialize, and that has to be respected. And what about other guests who want to socialize and actually have a good time? I understand that half of them will be tired after bartendering or preparing food. But can you at least wave to the friend from another table? I don't know, it seems like a nice rules for class and the school, but not a wedding. Let's see some other strange rules, like no Apple Watch. Honestly, I don't know how they deserve so much hate, but it's a very common thing among wedding rules. Kelly, I understand that the bands that you got for your Apple Watch are elevated and nice, just not for my wedding, it's completely inappropriate. Yeah, it, we're not filming an Apple Watch commercial or taking photos for my wedding. Yes, even while we're getting ready, there's gonna be a photographer there and like, I don't want the vibe to be like, look at that Apple Watch. Am I the only one who thinks that guests should be able to choose at least their accessories? The only rules about wedding dress code I get is wearing formal style of clothing and not wearing white. But those extra criteria freak me out. If you don't like the look of Apple Watch, don't wear it. What's the problem? I'm trying my best to understand all of the arguments, but I can't. If you talk about guests showing off their watch and bragging about it, then they need to leave their phone at home and not wear jewelry. And maybe stay at home to not ruin photos with their ugly faces. You know, like walking down the aisle with the beautiful flowers that I spent so much money on and people are like, oh, did she get her steps in? She's wearing that Apple watch. I sure hope so. Did you get enough steps walking down the aisle? I don't understand why every bride is so scared of random things stealing their attention. It's your wedding. No one will care about those Apple watches. All eyes are gonna be on you and it doesn't matter how much money you spent on the dress or flowers. I start to believe that preparation for wedding somehow damages people's sight. So they want everything to be so perfect that they try to control guest conversations or even their thoughts. I wish I was joking, because some couples require no boring people at their wedding. You're just gonna sit there and complain or just be miserable, sadly. I just don't want you at my celebration. I don't want to pay all that money for you to just be boring. Doesn't the couple make the guest list? Why would you even invite someone who you think is boring or miserable in the first place? And to be honest, it's pretty mean to call people this way. I think most of the wedding problems would be solved if they invited only close people. But I think I'm starting to develop a new phobia. Attending weddings. What if I'm not pretty enough or funny enough to be there or just exist in the same room with the bride? Just a few things to ask. I handpicked all the dresses and bridesmaids that will be there, and they will be a size 8. So if you're not a size 8, I recommend hitting the gym. No offense to anyone, but I have had this plan since I was in diapers and wanted it perfect. Oh, so she's the kind of person who believes that saying the phrase no offense will suddenly change the situation? Um, no. You can't tell people you're too fat for my wedding and then hope no one will be offended. Oh my god, I can't believe that it's a real message guests have received. Your nails need to be cut short and uncolored. Hair needs to be shoulder length and straightened. So if your hair is short, get extensions. So you want to tell me that if this woman had a dream since she was in diapers that automatically justifies all the crazy rules she makes? Like all women guests need to have extensions for her wedding. This bride wins the prize of the most ridiculous wedding rules. So not only you should change your physical shape because you need to fit in the dress no matter what, you also need to change your whole style and appearance to fit in. I'd really love to see someone who would do all of this just for one event. But so you know,
know, there is one more little thing that you can do for the couple. I'll be sending you my Venmo and cash up to the ones who haven't paid the $500 donations towards honeymoon in Hawaii. Love you guys, can't wait to be a wifey. Sorry for my commentary towards people who were asking $150. I take all of my words back and give it to this lady. A donation to a honeymoon in Hawaii? She could at least try to make her guests believe that it is worth it. Now I understand why all of them can't wait to become a wifey. I'd like to make people give me big money for nothing too. Let's try to look at the bright sides. It's the first ever post I saw with such rules and most of them are pretty reasonable. For example, two of the most popular rules on the wedding are to not wear white and to not bring kids. And I totally understand that. Because wherever the rules are, guests always have an option to reject the invitation. And some basic rules are handy, because no one would like their mood to be destroyed by some random people with lack of empathy. Like those famous incidents with cakes. Yikes forever. I think the $500 donation should go to a brain transplant to a person like that. How do they think of doing this? Do I want to have 5 seconds of fun or do I care about the bride? Maybe I don't want to see her crying and destroy her wedding cake of a dream? Those 5 seconds are gonna be the best. What am I even talking about if a knife in the hands of a groom didn't stop him? I just want all those people who do such unpleasant things like destroying a cake or wearing a white dress at someone's wedding to experience the same thing. I just don't understand the purpose of it. I'm really getting scared of weddings. I'm sorry to feel like I'll never attend wedding or have my own. But if I'll have one, I'll definitely set the no kids rule, just to avoid any situations like this. I can get mad, cause, well, it's kids and they can't control themselves. Just like a drunk man destroying a cake. I'm not even joking, drunk people can't walk, talk, and they poop their pants. So make sure they stay out of your wedding too. Um... Okay, I guess. Very classy. I didn't even know you could do that, so that was not only fun, but very informative. Guys, I don't even know how to analyze all the videos and rules I saw today. I've never realized how hard it is to do a wedding, so everyone feels happy, including the bride and the guests. I surely agree on some rules, but the dress code thing blew my mind. So please don't forget to wear black, don't be boring, donate $500, and of course, like, comment, and subscribe. I am a small creator, and I deserve it. Bye!